yeah. We have a 2010 Toyota Venza. Push to start smart key unit. Equipped. Um, I just installed a Prestige APS 620N, which is just a basic remote start, lock and unlock your doors with trunk pop. Um, but that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about programming the bypass used for the smart key, which is the DBR by Express Kit slash DEI. Um, it's a pretty good unit. It does everything um, as far as bypass immobilizer, push to start, remote start, whatever. Um, I took the liberty of showing you this wire. I've shown you this wire because this wire is used to power up the system and send data in and data out to a DEI only um, alarm remote start system. But I'm not using this because I did things the hard way and that's the only way to do it with this with using an aftermarket remote start unit. So it's basically called a W to W system which is a wire to wire system. So, this insulation took about 20 wires to complete the insulation. So, enough with that. I'm going to show you guys how to program this module, which is real simple. So, first thing first, you got to check all your wires to make sure everything is right. And never wire the system up with this module connected because it will pull ground from the module and burn out. All right, so first thing first, you want to plug in this harness right here. I think this is pin 12. This is connector 12, right next to the four pin D to D connector. Then, you want to get inside here and plug in this plug right next to the um, valid switch or programming switch. It's kind of tight, but you get the idea. Nope. And you plug that in. So, now the last plug to go in is this plug right here. Let me kind of focus this light. Okay. Is this plug and you would have to hold the programming switch down while inserting this plug to clear all previous memories from the module when you do that you'll see an orange light it was orange for a second then it turns red now, you press, you push the start button, and the light should turn green. And then shut off. Once it shuts off, it's ready to go. All you gotta do, hit the push the start button, system shuts off. Grab your remotes, you verify lock and unlock. Locked, unlock. Then on this particular unit, the door has to be closed in order for the system to remote start. So I hit this lock, you see that the door is locked. Unlock, unlock. Then you hit this button two times. The car starts right up. That's it. Another push to start. Fantastic installation by yours truly, Precision Connections, at your service as always. Have any questions? Holla at me at any time. That's about it. And then.
you can shut it off with the remote so all I do is press this one one two oh gotta press it too I didn't press it in the Pacific time see starts up everything's working no check engine light everything is good to shut it off you just press it two times again one two one it shuts off everything's off lock your doors unlock you hold down the green button to pop the trunk the trunk goes up you hit it again the trunk comes down cool right <laughs> precision <laughs> anyways all right that's pretty much it 2010 you know me I'm always doing the new cars the hardest cars always being done by precision connections at your service like I said you got any questions you highlight me I'll be sure to reply as always as usual and again to all the haters I love you to all my followers I love you too to all the girls and the ladies out there I love you more and that's about it. So I'll see you again in another video with another push to start. And check out my um the push to start videos because I got a couple of push to starts. I got the um Chevy push to start. I got the I got the Camaro push to start. I got the um the Ultima push to start. I got the the Infinity push to start video. I got um the Mercedes video. I got a couple of videos, so check out all my videos and leave good comments on them. You know what I mean? That's what it is. So again, Precision Connections, signing out. See you in the next video.